All right, I've been trying to find time to make this video for quite a while. These are my newest family members. Right over here, we've got the Zach Wild Buzzsaw. And we've got two camos. The one on the right is a Chinese model. The one on the left is a Korean. Pretty big difference between the two. Uh, the one on the left, which is the Korean, is very heavy. It's got the EMG HZ, which are the passive pickups. I actually prefer those. They sound a little bit fatter to me. And then you got the Chinese model, which has got the EMG 8185s. They have a little bit more sizzle to them. Both of them have hot pickups. Uh, personally, I like the EMG HZs a little bit better. They just sound bigger and more full and not quite as sterile. Uh, the necks are considerably different. The neck on the Chinese model is just huge. And you can see the Korean model's got white binding and the Chinese model's got kind of a cream binding. It almost matches the color of the wood. A little bit different headstock. Logo's a little different there than the Korean model. Uh, both of them are really cool guitars. They're just totally different animals though, even though they look very similar and they look a lot alike. They play totally different and they sound totally different. And then you go over here to the Buzzsaw, uh, which is my new favorite. Um, it's pretty much just like this first camo here. It's a Korean model. It's got the EMG HZs in it. And uh, this one, just like the camos, is absolutely flawless. Doesn't have a scratch or a ding on it. This is a 17 year old guitar. This was a 2000 and three I think um, I've talked to the people at Epiphone and it is a prototype um, that was used for shows and stuff like that it's got kind of a weird serial number to it but they've confirmed it and everything really awesome guitar um, all of these of course have the unpainted maple necks which are just my favorite. And that's the main reason I play these guitars. It's not because I'm the biggest Zach Wild fan in the world. I love Zach Wild and I love his style. I love how he plays the chorus pedal on everything. I love his tone and I love his playing, but you know, and I'm a huge Aussie fan, but I'm, it's not like I'm the biggest um, black label fan in the world. I do love listening to some black label society, but you won't, you don't see me running around town with a you know, Black Label Society vest on. I'm not a crazed fan that had to play these guitars because they belong to Zach Wilde. I actually play them because of the maple neck and especially the camo with the maple fretboard. It's just amazing. But I just wanted to share these with you guys. I plan on making some more videos, especially of uh, this guy right here. He's going to get his own video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As you can see, this one's got the scarf joint on the back of the neck like most of the Korean models have and uh, that's the real deal right there Got two of the real deal if you see one that's a darker color than this it's not the real deal it's a Chinese knockoff and yes they love to fake these guitars you can go on some of these websites and order the fakes from China and they look like garbage. They play like garbage. Most of them come with all of the instead of having this pretty brand new gold hardware Most of them come rusted straight out of the box So you get what you pay for folks and when you start posting pictures of One of these a fake version of one of these guitars. It's just laughable But I uh, appreciate everybody checking out the videos Love these guitars. These are my main three guitars now. I have another bullseye. That's technically my son's guitar and I also have a 88 Les Paul Gibson standard that I've played for a very, very long time. I'm just a Les Paul guy and I just really love these maple necks on these things. So that really, you know, I can get literally three of these for the price of one Gibson Les Paul. So hope you enjoyed the video. See you guys later.